there guys, my name is Kay Shadlogs the Ball, but built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park news room update where today we're going to be discussing about a very interesting situation that's taken place down under in Australia at Warner Brothers Movie World um, and this is about their Vekoma SLC, their suspended looping coaster. Now I'm going to talk about all of the information, where we got it from, uh, share with you some stats about the ride so maybe some people from Australia or some people around the world that are like, well hang on a minute, I don't even know what this coaster is. I'm going to share all that with you guys and also share where we've got the information and share with you three predictions from le likely to least likely that's going to happen with the site in my opinion so before we get started with all of that make sure you like the video make sure you comment down below your thoughts and opinions make sure you subscribe to the channel for more click the notification bell so you never miss another video and uh, let's get this channel up uh, let's get this channel up to 2,000 subscribers we're, ne we're nearly there guys we're nearly there we're under 50 subs away from 2,000, which is unbelievable. Uh, I would start getting more questions in for the Q&A. Uh, use the hashtag question before or after your question, and uh, they will all be involved in the session. And also, guys, make sure you keep viewing the old videos as well, because we are going to release another milestone video for when we hit half a million total YouTube views, which is an amazing achievement, and uh, especially for a channel that's only two and a bit years old. Uh, and for now, guys, let's check out all the information on this. So this all started with um, some posts on the forum for Parks. Now, Parks is a uh, new site. It's based in Australia. Uh, I did get permission to use one of their pictures from the Dreamworld Australia construction update months ago for the uh, blue fire type coaster for next year so uh, you know parks do an incredible job with what they do massive shout out to them and it was discussed on the forum with some pictures and everything to go with it and also gold coast theme parks posted the video about the retirement of arkham asylum shock therapy uh, the vacoma suspended looping coaster or as we abbreviate in the enthusiast community slc now this is all about the removal of theming but also the the rumoured um, removal of the SLC after all the theming's gone down. Now, the ride has been closed uh, with no announcement from the park as of yet. I think it's just that whole thing of it's closing, but the park haven't officially confirmed it yet, but we all know it's going to happen. Um, so, all the theming's been taken off. Well, not all of them so far, but they have started to remove bits of the theming. And the rumour is the SLC is going to come down next. Now, we don't know whether this has been relocated or removed entirely and demolished and scrapped. Um, it is the oldest of this particular model of SLC. And, you know, we don't know if this is going to a different park or it's just going to get scrapped altogether. But, it, again, that's another situation where we're going to have to uh, sort of see with that. It's going to be interesting to see what the park do with that. And, um, like I said, I'll talk about my predictions a little bit more uh, towards the end of the video, but for now, for those of you who don't know, those of you Australians that are sitting there going, well, hang on, guys, to chill. I don't know anything about Arkham Asylum and Shock Therapy. Terrible Australian accent, I know. Love the people of Australia. Mwah. Love your country. Um, but let's talk about Arkham Asylum and Shock Therapy for those of you who don't know much about the ride. So as I said, this is a Vekoma suspended looping coaster. This is, in fact, the original... 765 meter extended with helix model now those of you might be familiar with that model of course it's on four or well three other operating coasters currently and four coasters including one removed coaster and that is of course cobra at ratanga junction that was removed just a couple of years ago uh, but there's also three current operating coasters there is blue tornado at gardaland which might be the the prime example for you european coaster enthusiasts uh, jaguar at isla magica and roller coaster at dream park but this coaster arkham asylum shock therapy is the originating model it was the original one um you know, Blue Tornado coming three years after this opened. Now, this first opened as Lethal Weapon The Ride back in 1995. It opened in December 1995. And um, this was known as Lethal Weapon The Ride right up until 2011. And then after 20 2011, it became known as Arkham Asylum Shock, Th Shock Therapy. Uh, so this is still an old coast the original layout of it is still originating and to be fair I watched the video from Gold Coast theme parks and it looks like a ghost town around that site It looks dead uh, when the ride closed uh, Now this has a length for those of you who know don't know about the stats of this it has a length of 2510 feet a height of 109.3 feet 
a speed of 49.7 miles per hour and five inversions over a duration of 1 minute 42 with a capacity of 1010 riders per hour. Now this, like I said, is the oldest of the models and there is already some debate about what could be replacing the coaster. So I thought I'd get on the bandwagon and I thought I'd put in three of my own coaster predictions. So we start off with prediction number one. And now this one is the least likely of predictions. I'd love to see a BM in Australia, but I would like I, I don't think it's very likely. Uh, now you're probably thinking, why have I shadowed Griffin from Bush Gardens Williamsburg onto this site of Arkham Asylum Shock World? Now the reason why I've done that is maybe not a clone of Griffin, maybe a clone of Griffin, you never know, but something similar in terms of layout. You can see a little bit at the back sort of where extra track for Arkham Asylum is. They've still got some extra track sites to work with. Um, and obviously you'd have to maybe flip it around if you wanted to do the station somewhere else. Um, but it's that sort of style of dive coaster. So maybe an extended version of Griffin's layout. Maybe s nothing, s nothing too similar to Valraven, a new Constriker, because that's way too big. But definitely something bigger than Griffin. I think if you were going to go for the most, the least likely option, which is a B&M dive coaster, I would go for something like an extended version of Griffin's layout. Something longer, taller, faster... Um, more inversing, uh, more inverting maybe than Griffin. Um, like I said, you've got that extra bit of track at the back to work with. And, um, you know, I think it would be a decent site for a dive coaster. I might be wrong, but I think it's a decent site for a dive coaster. And, um, you know, you could do some clever stuff with it. So, you know, it's something that could happen, but I think is the least likely possibility. So before any of you start commenting, why are you predicting a dive coaster? It's very unrealistic. Have you seen the site? Don't worry, it's the least likely of the possibility. I just saw the Griffin uh, layout and I thought, you know what? That actually fits in the site. If you extend it a little bit towards the back, maybe you could get an extended version of that layout. But you never, never know. Option number two uh, on your screen right now, of course, is the RMC Raptor Coaster. Now, this one is another interesting prediction because, of course, this is the compact thrill coaster. Not much in the capacity department. Uh, however, I think that this with being a compact thrill coaster and I think... You know, Warner Brothers Movie World, in Australia's terms, is one of the bigger capacity theme parks in Australia. But, it's not the biggest capacity theme park in the world. So, this is still a perfect addition. And it would be Australia's first single rail roller coaster. Just like this would be, the, uh, just like the Dive Coast would be the first B&M uh, in Australia. The first B&M ever in Australia, don't, uh, bearing in mind. So... Um, but this RMC Raptor, I mean, I showed you, an ex I mean, the example on your screen is, of course, Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster. Uh, but, of course, as you all know, there are many, many versions of this particular uh, Raptor Track Coaster. Of course, there, are, there is the prototypes, Rail Blazer, Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster, Stunt Pilot coming next year at Silverwood. And then, of course, you've got the custom layout, the extended layout, which is the Jersey Devil Coaster coming to Six Flags Great Adventure next year. And you've also got the one that's set to be coming in 2022 to Six Flags Magic Mountain as well, uh, which is set to be something on the lines of Jersey Devil. So, again, that's the sort of the bigger version of the Raptors. Uh, but I think if you were going to add a Raptor to Warner Brothers Movie World, you'd be looking at either a prototype or I think you'd be looking at a custom layout that just a little bit bigger than the prototype nothing too jersey devil style but i think you'd be looking at something bigger than the prototypes maybe only just maybe a little bit more but nothing as big as the jersey devil type layouts or the one going to magic mountain in that case um but i think that an rmc raptor is definitely a good addition for the part now you know i would personally like to see this happen i think that it's it'd be nice for australia to get a taste of the raptor if only the UK got a taste of the Raptor. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that what we're looking at here is, you know, Australia's first single rail coaster. And I think that that, my friends, would be a very good addition indeed. Finally, prediction number three. And this is another first for Australia. It's the first ever Gerslauer Infinity Coaster in Australia. The first of its kind in Australia. Now, again, I've used an example of this. It might not be an exact example, but it's an example to the extent. 
And this is, of course, the monster from Adventureland in Iowa. Of course, they're adding their brand new 4D free spin next year. Um, but I thought I'd use the monster as an example of a Ghost Lar Infinity Coaster. Nothing too extreme. Nothing, you know, smiler related. Get corrected. But, um, again, it's something as simple as the monster layout. And I think the monster layout wouldn't actually be a bad layout to go th for. Because mo from the reviews, monster is not a bad ride. It is not a bad ride at all. You know, you're still looking at five inversions, 133 feet tall, 2,500 feet in length, and, you know, 101 degree vertical angle. You're still looking at a decent roller coaster. They could go for other different layouts. They could put, what, a launch on it. They might have a launched one in mind. Uh, so something like Madagascar Mad Pursuit, but outdoors. Or, again, you're looking at something like the the launched version which is the like the rolling launch that's on Junker at, uh, at Powerland of course they got two Infinity Coasts they got Pit Special that opened this year which we did some coverage for uh, as well so you know there's a lot of you know different versions if you were going to go for something that's a bit more shuttle launch concept and something that's not going to take up a massive footprint so you can put loads of theming around it I'd go for the Fury at Bobby on Land type route uh, but I think if you're looking for a decent infinity coaster, nothing too tall, not the tallest, not the fastest, not the longest, not the most inverting in the world, just a decent infinity coaster that may not break any record. Obviously, it, it's going to be the first of its kind in Australia, which is a big record in itself. But in terms of actual stats on the ride, it won't break records. You just want a decent roller coaster that's going to give people the thrill of their life. And um, the first infinity coaster of its kind in Australia. I think that fits the bill. I generally think that does fit the bill. And, um, you know, all three of these types of coasters, the first B&M in Australia, as well as the first dive from B&M in Australia, um, you know, Australia's first single rail coaster or Australia's first infinity coaster, all of them are breaking records. And to be honest, they are replacing an SLC that's probably, in my opinion, from the reviews over the last few years, maybe needed replacing for quite some time. So there we go. That is my predictions for the replacement of Arkham Asylum Shock Therapy. Now, I did see something on a forum, uh, the Coast Force Forum, in fact, and it was uh, some concept arts for the SLC Avery. Now, I think this is like... Uh, a tent like a tent attraction and it's like a walkthrough attraction uh where it connects um like track pieces into like a tent structure i'm not too sure how it works comment down below if you know anything about some concept arts for an slc avery uh this will not happen in my opinion it's happening in china but it won't happen in uh, australia but i thought that was a clever bonus idea but uh, you know in terms of coaster replacements we're looking realistically at infinity raptor or least likely a dive coaster um, but, you know, if there's any other possibilities, comment down below what do you guys think is going to replace Arkham Asylum Shock Therapy. I think with the removal of theming and a strong rumour that the track is going to go next, it's a very strong possibility, all but confirmed by the park, that Arkham Asylum Shock Therapy is to leave Warner Brothers Movie World. Um, you know, it's been there originally from Le as we've Lethal Weapon the Ride since 1995. So, you know, it, it's... It, it's been there for, for, for 25 years, and that's a long time for a roller coaster. So, uh, rest in peace, Arkham Asylum Shock Therapy. I'm sure to the many lovers of Vacoma SLCs, classic SLCs, you will be sorely missed. But to people that didn't like it, I'm sure they'll just move on from it. Um, but it'd be interesting to see your sort of predictions to what you think is going to replace the ride. So, get them in the comments down below, and I can't wait to read them. Thank you very much guys for watching this video. Stay tuned this afternoon because we've got the next five years video from Cedar Point. That is going to be coming to you guys later today. And for now, my name is Coast Child. Keep living the coast alive. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care guys. Have an awesome day.